Hello ladies and gents, my name is Carl Feldman. Today I'm going to be creating a resource such as a virtual machine and then we're going to be using Microsoft Defender to see any recommendations it can give us that um, that will strengthen it, which will harden the security of that particular resource. And I'm going to be using Cloud Shell specifically PowerShell. You can go to Bash, but I prefer PowerShell. I am all right with Bash, but um, my strength is PowerShell. I will improve with Bash though. Using such platforms as tryhackme.com. I'm sure that's that, that, that's it. But let me wait for this to load and then we go. So I'm going to get right into it. name we're going to call it VM example you see it right there location UK south this is why I like partial and then just enter VM example I'm not going to be logging in this is just for example password And then just enter, wait for it to to load. There will be a network security group created with this. I just want to associate it with a subnet before I continue to show you um, what is in Microsoft Defender for Cloud, which is very useful. I love it because it, it recommends how to strengthen your security and then you just go in and and it's got the steps um, to do it as sometimes you may not see videos or instructions to do it it's just it's got the steps right there in front of you so if you've got two screens it really helps which i do let me wait for this to load just bear with me 25 percent If it takes too long, I will pause the video and then come back. There it is. Virtual machine created. Let me see if it... Sometimes it takes like five minutes for it to. Oh, there it is. NSG. Let me go quickly to the NSG. I want to associate it. With a subnet. Subnet. Associate. That shall do. And then go to Defender for, for Cloud. It may take some time to go through Defender for Cloud for Defender for Cloud to pick up the, the, the resource we just created. However, sometimes you can just refresh it quickly. Refresh. Bear with me. No, it has not loaded yet. Yes, it's here, it's found. So that was quicker than usual. So I just click onto it and show you what recommendations it has 
for you to strengthen the security of this resource group. I mean, this is this resource. This is where you can see everything. You can filter it. You can come here, filter it. Take out the unhealthy. I mean, take out the healthy and then. show you what is unhealthy but for this example whoa let me just click on this you can see the remedi remediation steps here You got quick fix so just for this example I will click we won't do that right here I do want to go back to just start again But as you can see, I don't know why it was it it became quite buggy. However, you can even go by the the severity. Is it high? Do you want? I'm gonna take out low. I'm going to pick something with a quick fix. I'm sure this does have a quick fix. Click fix fix the resource and there it will fix this sometimes as it says it, it can take up to 24 hours for it to be shown in a defender for cloud Hello, I am back. I just was waiting for more recommendations to come through, so I just ended the video um, knowing that I can come back and just show you more, more recommendations. As you can see now, there's more things that it's recommending to do. For example, it's showing you unhealthy status for this. So log analytics agent should be installed on virtual machine so we're going to go there i know this is a quick fix we're going to just put some fun let's find one more unhealthy machines and this usually is here I do not know why it is not maybe let's just wait for this too maybe that's why just give it a minute. Bear with me. That's a quick fix. I'm it's still not showing. Well, it, it will usually show, maybe it's just going to take its time. However, let me go to NSG. I want my IP to be the only thing that can access this virtual machine. So I'm just going to go to source, my IP address. Usually you can put destination and put the, the public IP of the virtual network, but for 
for just this example I will not do that priority is the highest yes this is how we can access the virtual machine using RDP so yes let me go back quickly and defend our see if see if it will do that quick fix for machines checking for updates if not I will end the video here There it is. Hmm. Yes, I don't know why it is not come here. However, yes, it usually does. It probably will later on. So I'm going to end the video here. I hope you've learned something and um, just like and subscribe. Thank you for watching my video. Bye.